chocolate behind me. Today we are going to be learning about my favorite artist named Peter Anton. Peter Anton is a sculpture artist. And I'm going to tell you, these candy right here, these are not real. They're not edible. And they're probably as big as my head each. It's kind of crazy, right? Well, a sculpture artist creates things and forms them and they're not flat on a paper, okay? So sculpture is a three-dimensional work of art and we're gonna learn a little bit about Peter Anton today. Then I'm gonna teach you how to draw some of his inspired artwork, right? Because at home, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of stuff we can make things out of. However, if you are able to, you could use Model Magic Clay, which you can get at Walmart or somewhere like that, or a craft store. And it's called Model Magic Clay, and it's by Crayola. And you can start to make things, like you can see this little pumpkin I made out of Model Magic Clay, so it's a sculpture, okay? So that's something you could do too. You can make a donut, or you can make candy, just don't actually eat it. Cool? Now, let's get started learning about Peter Anton. Let me share my screen with you. Oh, great. So let's talk about Peter Anton. This is one of his artworks. And I see an orange with dipped in chocolate, right? But it's not real, and it's probably four or five feet long, which is kind of crazy to think about. But look at how big these donuts are. This is insane. Those are not made out of sugar and flour. These are made out of things like plaster or ceramics or different types of paint. So obviously you don't eat them, right? But they look realistic. So who is Peter Anton? Well, it's this guy right here. Peter Anton is an American artist and a sculptor. His primary subject matter is food with an emphasis on chocolates and other sweets. Often referred to as Candy Warhol, Anton creates giant realistic sculptures and is best known for his bigger than life box chocolates, like the ones behind me. Now, here is a video link that I want you guys to watch. It's a video of him making his artwork. So that'll be attached on Seesaw right after this video. So make sure you watch it. Here is how big his sculptures are. Look right here. This heart is taller than this person and this person. These are gigantic sculptures. It says, Peter Anton, I love you. Now look at the texture. These look so real, you could almost eat them. I love them. What kind of lines do you see? What kind of textures? This one looks like it had a bite taken out of it. This one's shiny. This one's powdery. This one also looks like it has a little slice taken out of it. This one's a heart. This one looks crunchy. And look at all these too. What kind of lines do we see? I see a wiggly line. I see a zigzag line. I see a loop de line. I see a swirly line. I see a crazy line. I see a circle. I see a square. I see a heart. Now look at this one. This looks like real cake, but this sculpture is taller than I am. Can you imagine a cake as big as you are? That is so crazy to me. I love this cake because it shows like somebody's eating it but nobody's eating it because it's fake, right? Now look at these donuts. This is one that we're gonna draw today because I love drawing my donuts. And also our seesaw project is going to be decorating donuts. So get some inspiration from these ones right here to see how you wanna decorate your donuts. So his solo exhibition right now so it's actually in two weeks in Connecticut. It's called Sweet Dreams, Confectionery Sculpture by Peter Anton. Look at how tall these sculptures are. Those candies look gigantic. Look at how big the donuts look. And this little strawberry roll back here. So big. Now, look at this. 
candied apple that looks like it has a bite taken out of it that is almost as big as me. And this pizza is probably taller than me. And it's a sculpture, not real, right? That is so crazy and awesome. Now, let's get started with our drawing. So we're going to draw um, um, our donut box. And so I want you to get a marker or a pencil or something and draw along with me on a piece of paper. And then you can post it when you're done to peace off. Let me change my background. Then I am going to change it right here. One second, friends, it is not working. All right, friends. Here you see last week's artwork, and then this week's artwork is going to be right here. So let's start off by making these pretty big, okay? So I'm going to start by drawing my box. I'm going to make it almost as big as my paper. Just a regular old box. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is not perfect. Then what I want you to do is draw a line from here down, from here down, and here down, and then connect from here to here, and from here to here. So it looks three dimensional. Okay. There's my donut box. Now you can draw a line in here like this. And down. And then over and down to the inside of the box. So I'm going to shade this very lightly. Make it look like it's going in. Okay, that's the inside of my box now. Now I can draw my donuts. So I'm going to start by drawing pretty even circles as best as I can. So I want to fit three. Just like that. So there's six donuts. Now, I'm going to make some of them have circles and some of them not. So I can decorate them all different. So for this one, I want to do a wavy line to make it look like icing. Maybe this one, I'm going to do a drizzle of caramel chocolate. And then this one, I want to do sprinkles. So sprinkles, I'm going to make lines going in a million different directions. Maybe this one, I'll draw heart-shaped sprinkles. Those are always fun, going in different directions. Maybe this one, I'll draw some happy face sprinkles. I threw a little sad one in there. Then this one, maybe we'll make it have some tiny, tiny little sprinkles. So I can just cover the whole thing in like a texture to make it look more realistic.
still looks kind of like a, a realistic donut. Maybe I could even do that for the rest of them too if I wanted to make them look more realistic. Then I can add some crumbs to make it look like my donuts are real or maybe some a little poof right here to look like it has a filling. Okay, maybe this one does too. Maybe you can make a pumpkin donut or you could write your name on the donut box just like that. Maybe I'll call these Mrs. and Donuts. Okay, so there is your finished donut box. Now, what I want you to do is do your seesaw assignments today. Um, finish your donuts, make them super cute. Try to do maybe a candy box too. And draw your favorite dessert. Make sure you do both assignments on seesaw and watch my other video too. Okay? I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you again one day. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.